on today's super special emergency broadcast Idaho 4 episode. We are going to be discussing accusations, felonies, and apologies. Yeah. And we're going to talk about mental health, too. Oh, my God. He was only 23 years old. You don't want to miss a single second of this episode. Now, without further ado, let's see what I have to say for myself this time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name's Drip Drop, and I'll be your host as always. Now, let's just dive right into this episode. Brian Koberger has been accused of multiple felonies. Super serious felonies. And in honor of the victims and the victims' families, we're going to talk about it. We need to. I'm in pursuit of the truth and justice, no matter who the perpetrator is. And I've been told I'm a really good investigator. Even Zana's mother, Kara, recognizes Crime Circus. And to myself, Drip Drop is being a really good investigator, and you know that's true. Yeah, she slid into my comment section before she was locked up. And she needs to be released immediately. So, free Kara, Zana's mother. Her life matters too, you know? And she doesn't belong in the cage. She has no victims. Right now, she's suffering a very similar consequence as Brian Koberger. They're both being held inside of a cage against their own will, away from the rest of us out here in the free world. Think about it. Does Kara deserve to be in the exact same location as Brian Koberger? No. Yeah, they might not be in the exact same cell, but they're both in cells. And you know, Brian Koberger's not an incel. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Some people have been led to believe that Brian Koberger is the new Candyman. I've even heard rumors of people going into dark bathrooms, looking in the mirror and saying, Brian Koberger, Brian Koberger, Brian. I'm not gonna say it three times, but for anybody out there that's feeling a little daring, try it. Some sick individuals think this is some type of new TikTok challenge. Well, I'm not up for that challenge. Are you? Leave a comment down below if you did it and if you lived to tell the tale. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to remember, Brian was an expert in criminology and a PhD student. Highly intelligent and very academic, and he really enjoyed school. One day, he hoped to even become a professor. Allegedly. Do you think an individual would just throw that all away for an experiment? No. Because you have to assume that that's what this was. An experiment, if you believe he's guilty. Because he didn't even know these individuals. Brian Koberger's attorney, Ann Taylor, says he has no connection to the victims. And we believe her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let's talk about accusations. Brian Koberger has been accused of doing hair brain in his past. He's also been accused of theft, allegedly stealing his own sister's cell phone. I don't think he would have to steal anybody's cell phone. I mean, seriously. Anybody can just buy one at Walmart for about 20 loonies. He's also unfortunately been accused of creeping on women. Well, you have no proof he's been creeping on any women. As far as I'm concerned, he was a real ladies' man. You see, with all of these accusations, they seem to be just that. And extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. And everybody's just gossiping without any proof. You have no proof Brian Koberger was addicted to heroin. That's just anonymous sources. You have no proof Brian Koberger took anybody's cell phone, and you certainly have no proof that he was creeping on any women. I guarantee a lot of women watching this video right now are head over heels for Brian Koberger. Oh my God. And you know that's true. 
I've heard that there's women writing him letters in jail. So why would he have some sort of sick hatred for women? Women love him and he may love women. We don't know. We really don't. But sometimes certain individuals think they know things when they really don't. They assume things because they heard things from an anonymous source or they heard things that weren't even true. They were lied to and then they believed them. And that's just sad. How can Brian Koberger possibly defend himself as he remains silent, as he sits in his jail cell with no visitors? He can't defend himself because once false accusations are placed upon somebody, it's not even worth acknowledging them because it's a waste of breath because they're just not true. Yeah. I mean, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, just think about it. Any spineless creature on this planet, Earth, can say anything they want to. People have mouths and they make noises and they have fingers so they type things on the internet. It doesn't make it true because as you know from your own personal life experiences, people are liars. And would you defend yourself against each and every single lie that's ever been told against you? Hmm. Well, guess what? That's a waste of your own time and a waste of your own life. RIP to you if you make that choice. Seriously. When someone tries to destroy someone else's reputation, you know that's a red flag. You know that individual has some skeletons in their closet. You know that's a danger stranger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanda Todd was just 15 years old when she took her own in 2012. The poor Coquitlam teenager was bullied relentlessly and tormented online. She left behind a YouTube video where she used flashcards to describe how she'd been blackmailed by someone online. Now the Dutch man accused of cyberbullying her has been extradited to Canada to face charges in BC. Anyways, what I'm getting at, a lot of individuals view Brian Koberger as Jensen Ackles 2.0. Yeah. I'm not saying I do, because my opinion's irrelevant. I'm just the observer. And in the criminal justice system, we must presume Brian Koberger is innocent of all of these accusations and allegations. And keep in mind, he has not been charged nor convicted with heroin. It's anonymous rumors. Do you choose to believe them? If so, low IQ. If you keep an open mind and you're not so sure and you don't believe anything until you see actual evidence, well, you might have a high IQ. We don't know. As far as we know, he's never done anything to anyone, including doing anything creepy to any women. Secret cameras in his neighbor's apartment? That's a rumor. Brian Koberger at pool parties? That's a rumor. You haven't seen any video or photographic evidence. And even if you think you have, things can be faked. Things aren't always what they appear. Yeah. All that we really know or think that we know. He posted something on Reddit, some type of survey for college. So yeah, being a Reddit user, that alone makes him a little sus. If that was really him that posted on that website. We don't know. But allegedly, that was his only post anyways. Some people were even confused and thought he was following the victims on Instagram. It wasn't him. After Brian was arrested, a bunch of Brian Koberger profiles popped up on all of the different social media platforms. But not before. Before he was arrested, we had all already looked through all of the victims' social medias and there was no Brian Koberger there. We keep it factual here at Crime Circus. So with all that being said, until actual proof is presented and we actually believe it, all of those rumors must be kept down in the tunnel. Yeah, the tunnel. And some of you have even heard rumors that there was a fight club down in the tunnel. Rumors, rumors, rumors. You can't believe rumors. Newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of things on the internet are clickbait, designed to make you click them, to trick you, deceive you, and to manipulate you 
so those people can get paid. Yeah, that's how it works. You have to be cautious and super careful because it's a manipulative world. This might be Canada's most persistent piece of fake news. It comes from a 2004 letter to the editor printed in the Toronto Star. It says refugees in Canada receive more money from the government than retired citizens. It's not true. In fact, a retired Canadian is eligible for about double what a refugee gets, depending on the province. But you can still find the falsehood circulating online, even though the star and the Canadian government debunked it. Now, let's climb the ladder into the next portion of this video. Apologies. I'd like to discuss something super important right here and right now. And this isn't easy to do, but I do it for you, the viewer. An apology needs to be said. I know that some of you, maybe even many of you, have been wondering about some crazy, crazy, crazy things. Crazy. Understandably, because there's a lot of crazy things on the internet. And these crazy things need to be addressed. Yeah. So we shall. I, Drip Drop of Crime Circus, am so very, truly, deeply sorry for what I accused Brian Koberger of when he was arrested back in 2022. Oh my God. I feel so bad for believing what I was reading in the news headlines because now I'm aware that the news lies. Yeah, they do. And I even made videos assuming Brian Koberger was guilty. So yeah, I hadn't done proper research and I didn't do a proper investigation. I was making videos believing what news articles were saying. Basically, I believed what I read on the internet. And for that, I'm sorry. I have now become very aware that there is a lot of false information on the internet that individuals will tell you, as well as news channels. So yeah, it can be news channels or individuals. Anybody and everybody can and will lie to you for their own agenda and their own benefit. And you know that's true. A lot of us have each individually uncovered a lot of discrepancies in this case. Possibly one BK was mixed up with another BK. And you know, everybody has a doppelganger out there. I've discussed that in plenty of episodes, and you know that's true. I went viral on TikTok with my doppelganger video because I even had a doppelganger experience. But we won't get into all that right here and right now. Everyone is said to have a lookalike somewhere in the world, but what are the chances of meeting your real-life doppelganger? Probably not that high. And what is that moment like? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. This is the moment two complete strangers travelling on a flight from Stansted to Ireland last week came face to face <laughs> on the same plane because one of them was sitting in the other's seat. They were travelling, can you believe it, to the same hotel completely separately. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy. So, with that being said, I am sorry to Brian Koberger, to his family, to his friends, to his supporters, to the victims and to the victims' families. When I started this series, I didn't do proper investigation. I believed what I read. And now it's all become so crystal clear that most of it is just deception. Truth and justice needs to happen in this case for all of us, including for you. Yeah, you, the viewer. You've been tuned into these heinous crimes. You've had to hear some heinous information that no individual should ever have to hear in this life. We've researched things we never imagined we ever could or should, but we did. At this point in the investigation, we just don't know who committed this crime. 
It doesn't even seem like it's Brian Koberger at this point because there's been so many sus things in this investigation. Yeah, anybody that's watched my Idaho 4 series, playlist link down below, it's sus to us. Why won't they just give Ann Taylor all of the discovery? What are they hiding? She's put in at least 12 requests now, probably even more by the time you're seeing this video. And that's why I've created the Innocent Lives Matter series. Because innocent lives do matter. There's a lot of innocent people locked up. And we will try to save them all. Kathleen Zellner has single-handedly freed 23 individuals from serving life in prison for passing away as they did not commit. That's impressive, and she's not even part of the Innocence Project. And the Innocence Project has saved a lot of individuals too. And here at Crime Circus, we hope to save a whole lot more individuals. Like Kit Martin, he did not do it, and that episode's coming soon. Some viewers out there can't even comprehend or accept the fact that some individuals are actually innocent of the crimes they're charged with. But that's reality. Although some of you aren't even ready to accept or live in reality. Because then you'd see the Matrix for what it really is, and you'd be scared and it would be difficult to keep running on that wheel. Yeah, some of you are hamsters on wheels and don't even realize it. Me, I'm the last of a dying breed. Honor, truth, integrity, peace, love, and happiness. Be kind to your fellow human being and cyberbullying and end self-deletion. And the more you try to cyberbully somebody on the internet, the more likely they're going to self-delete. Mental health is serious, and it's seriously important. Do you care about mental health? You might or you might not, but you really need to. Anyways, to my supporters, I love you. I appreciate you. I will never let you down. To my members and Patreons, you are everything to me. And Baby Drip appreciates you too. Yeah. Anyways. This popular cosplayer who went by the name of Inquisitor 3 tragically took his own recently on TikTok Live following a slew of false accusations against him. His home was successfully entered and CPR was performed, but tragically his father has confirmed his passing. He was only 23 years old. He was only 23 years old. Rest in peace to the Inquisitor. He was bullied on the internet until he deleted himself. That's how serious cyberbullying really is. And I have a strong suspicion some very sick individuals out there would like me to do that too. But you see, the thing is, there's too many people that love me and count on me. And Baby Drip needs me. And when you think about it, what's an ant to an elephant anyways? <laughs> Boom! Moving right along. And if anybody out there watching is maybe considering supporting Crime Circus or helping this channel grow or becoming a member, I'm gonna have all the links down below. You can find everything at crimecircus.com. Honestly, without my supporters, I wouldn't even have the willpower to do this for much longer. So I'm so very thankful for you. And Baby Drip is going to be making another appearance very soon, so make sure you stay tuned with notifications on and you can get guaranteed notifications on Patreon. Link down below. With all that being said, until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.